for you. I'm going to run down my top 10 tech predictions for 2013. Things that will undoubtedly be rumors in upcoming shows. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with the iPhone 6. I'm predicting it's going to launch in June with a 1080p updated retina display. Complete redesign, still be made of aluminum and glass. And for those of you that are holding out hopes for a baller, awesome curved display, I don't think we're gonna see it. What I do think we're gonna see though is wireless charging. I don't think it's gonna be a Qi standard or anything else that's been standardized. I think it's gonna be Apple's totally proprietary wireless charging. I don't think it's gonna be that wireless hub that we saw where sort of your computer at home can charge all your gadgets wirelessly. I think you have to put it on a pad and it'll charge, but I do think we're finally gonna see it. I also think we're finally gonna get NFC, which I'll talk about a bit later for mobile payments and other kinds of data transmission. I think we're finally gonna see 802.11ac, which I was flabbergasted that we didn't have with the iPhone 5S, flabbergasted. And I also think the iPhone is gonna regain the crown of the thinnest smartphone on the market, thanks to brand the new Apple patented battery technology. What is that iPhone 6 going to use in the software front? It's gonna go with iOS 8, which is going to launch with that iPhone 6. It's gonna look, unfortunately, to chagrin of some of you, the same as iOS 7 with new features. I think it's gonna have a brand new Apple NFC app. Maybe they'll call it Apple Transfer or iTransfer or IA or whatever they decide to call it. I think we're gonna see a revised notifications tray with widgets. Apps will be able to run widgets. I think you'll be able to pull over the tab to the left or the right, be able to get information at a quick glance. I'm saying it, iOS 8, we're finally gonna get widgets somehow. But of course, iOS 8's gotta compete with something. I think we're going to see Android 5.0 finally hit the market. I think it's gonna come early and expect it in March. So what's it gonna look like? I think you're gonna have a completely redesigned notification shade. It's become kind of a mess up there with apps just throwing things in there. My big one, we're finally going to have actual backup and restore. I'm hoping, maybe it's just me hoping, but I'm saying Google found a way to figure it out. I also think we're going to see Android 5.0 in app form. Now, not get the whole Android 5.0 in apps, but I think that the key programs will be available in apps, similar to downloading Gmail or downloading the Google Calendar, for example. You can be able to get the best of the newest version of Android in apps. You can drop the skinned apps uh, if you don't like them. Lastly, I think it's going to allow for skin switching. At least I'm hopeful that whenever carriers or manufacturers start working together on new skins, in order to make it work with Android, they got to be able to completely allow it to be de-skinned. So imagine with a flip of a switch, turning off TouchWiz or turning off Sense, and enjoying that delicious stock Android. I would love that. Probably not gonna happen, but I'm hoping that if it does come true, that you can say you heard it here first. Samsung is not gonna be left out in 2014. It's gonna be the year of the Galaxy S5. I think we're gonna see it in March. I think they're going to go away from their plastics where they look like leather or not on the back and go the way of metal. Samsung has really done a nice job of just cramming in crazy technology into their flagship phones. That technology doesn't always make it to US shores or other carriers across the world, like OctaCore, for example. But I do think we are going to see a version of the S5 that, as I mentioned, is metal. It's going to have a 2K screen. I think it's going to be the first mass-produced phone with a 2K screen. OctaCore processor is going to be standard. It's going to have a creepy advertising campaign, which is probably pretty clever and takes aim at Apple. So while it wasn't that much of a change from the Galaxy S3 to the S4, there's going to be a huge jump from the S4 to the S5. I also think 2014 is gonna be the year that BlackBerry finally gets sold for parts and patents. They've sort of been circling the bowl for a couple of years now. Rumor is they had to cancel two of their flagship phones for 2014. I don't think they got enough in the tank to last. I think they're gonna cut their losses and I would wager that we see those patents go up for sale sometime towards the end of 2014. Also in 2014, it's gonna be year the iWatch is going to launch. I think it's gonna come in August with FaceTime, a curved display, and that new Apple wireless charging. I don't know what else it's gonna do because I can't think of what a smartwatch can do other than give notifications, but perhaps Apple has something new in store. Also in store from Apple, I think they're finally going to talk about and acknowledge the Apple television set, but not launch one in 2014. I think we're also finally going to see a 2K iPad Pro. Perhaps this is the 12 inch iPad we're hearing rumors about. Next, I think Windows Phone 9 is going to hit, gonna merge with Windows RT and be a really viable third OS, not just in phones, but now in tablets after the merger uh, with RT. Windows Phone's done an incredible job, I think, the past year, you know, getting the applications that they needed. And I think this next iteration is gonna take them to the next level. It's gonna bring things like notifications, and I think it's gonna just do a really, really nice job. Lastly, I think the $1,500 Google Glass is going to launch in production form for anybody without an invitation for the price of $499. I think we're gonna see it sort of hit that mid $500 price point, and we'll see who wants to buy the wearable technology. It's certainly more affordable, 500 bucks, but way far away from an impulse purchase. Let me take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at lynda.com. Lynda.com offers thousands of engaging, super easy to follow video tutorials taught by industry experts to help you learn software, creative, and business skills. Membership is super cheap. It starts at 25 bucks per month and provides unlimited 24 seven access to really anything you want to learn. You can learn at your own pace from bite-sized tutorials or comprehensive courses in everything kind of ranging from web design, uh, programming design, uh, photography, business, 
audio and video, 3D animation, and a ton more. Try lynda.com for free for seven days by visiting lynda.com slash technobuffalo. Again, that's lynda.com slash technobuffalo, L-Y-N-D-A. So what are you guys' predictions for the year? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Leave it in the comments located down here. I wish you guys a great 2014. I hope it's a wonderful year for all of you. What's up everyone, John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today. If you wanna check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.